at a job site, we're actually going through the process of getting a legal two unit dwelling. But what I do when I usually go into my investment properties before I purchase them is I usually make a beeline right to the electrical panel. There's three things that I look at when I go into the electrical panel. The first one is I look for the main breaker. And usually on there, there's a number that's on there. In this case, it says 200 amps. Uh, sometimes you're gonna see 200 amps, 125, 100 amp. To get it to be a legal two unit dwelling, you can make it do with 100 amp. But certainly the higher the amperage, the less likely when you've got two families living in the property, it's gonna, it's gonna break. The second thing I look at, which unfortunately we're blocked from that in, in this particular property because of the drywall, is I look at the actual wires themselves. Is it aluminum wires or is it copper wire? Uh, older homes could also have knob and tube, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Aluminum wire uh, was used in the, in the early to mid 70s and uh, it was used as a, as a means of saving money for the, for the contractors. But after a few years, they determined that it wasn't holding up as well as copper, so they went back to copper. Usually how you can tell that it's aluminum is it actually literally has the word aluminum right on it, so that makes it pretty easy to tell. The third thing I usually look at is, uh, is I actually look at the wires themselves. Was it put together by a professional? And usually a professional one is all nicely stapled and put together. That gives me a higher level of confidence that an electrician did most of the work around the place. Sometimes when you go into an electrical panel, you look at it and it looks like grandma's spaghetti. When that happens, you're pretty confident that it's either gonna be Uncle Larry or Handyman Joe that put the put the property together. And so then the concern is if it's if it's that bad in the electrical panel area, what's gonna be behind the walls? My contractor once found over 20 hidden junction boxes found within a legal two unit dwelling. Problem was that was actually my property. For more episodes, you can go to my website, durhamhome.ca. This is Michael Dominguez with another Michael Minute.